One of the newest discoveries researchers have made is that there is a strong association between susceptibility to MS and low levels of vitamin D. Folks born in latitudes far from the equator are much more likely to develop MS than people who live near it. And when people who live in more tropical areas of the globe move during childhood to more temperate regions, their risk for MS tends to increase. Some research also suggests that when someone is diagnosed with MS, the higher their blood level of vitamin D, the lower their level of disease activity, and the slower the progression of MS. But does taking vitamin D supplements actually help someone who already has MS? That's the big question, and we don't know yet. Small studies have been done and aren't conclusive. A larger trial is underway. Hopefully, when the results are in, we will know if vitamin D can be used to reduce MS disease activity. In the meantime, we know that vitamin D has a very potent effect on the immune system and interacts with the main players in the immune system that seem to be important in MS. Many MS doctors make sure that their patients are getting enough vitamin D either from the sun or by taking supplements. The benefits of taking around 1,000 international units of supplemental vitamin D a day, and sometimes even more, far outweigh any risks. Also, anyone with MS who has children should make sure their kids maintain a healthy vitamin D level, because these children have an increased risk of developing MS. For more information on managing MS, watch the other videos in this Q&A.